Hey everyone, so here's a Lipcare Studio on how to get the average sales per day of week. So this sounds simple, but there's actually a little formula that you'll need to know to be able to, to do this. So let's look at this data sets, for example. We have sales data, multiple transactions per day, and we'd like to get the average sales per day of week, like this. So the method that most people would try would be to create a bar chart like this one. Go over here, set the date range, day of week, and then sales, then select average. And what you'll notice is that we're getting, actually, we're not getting the average total sales per day of week, we're getting the average transaction value per day of week. Um, so in this date range, we have exactly three times Saturday, so the total is 4,123. So we have to divide that by three to get the average. So the actual number we're looking for is this one, which we have over here. So how did I get there? What I did is write this formula. So same thing, I have day of week as a date, ra date range, and then I've created this calculated field and here's the formula. So we're gonna copy and paste this. This is the sum of sales divided by the number of time, the number of distinct week extracted from the date. So let me show you how this works. Over here we have all the data um, aggregated by day of week but let's just add part of the formula to see what would happen. So I'll go over here, create a field, and just extract the ISO week from the date. So the ISO week is the, the actual week number in a year. So the first year of the, uh, the first week of the year is one, second year two, and so on up to 52. So since we have three times Saturday in that date range, it's the 40 week, 41, 42, right? So if we were to extract distinct from this, we would get three distinct value. So basically what the formula does is it will divide this 4,123 by three in this case. Right, so if we look at this, you'll see this is the formula, just the count distinct extract. So basically Saturday, the value is gonna be divided by three. Right, if we add an unequal um, date range, let's say Sunday we had four, time, four weeks in that date range, then the value would be divided by four, right? And finally, when we sum sales and divide by that count distinct, then we're able to get the total average, the, the average total sales per day of week in this bar chart, right? So that's how you do it. See you in the next video.